Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, as I, Captain Steven. Today, I'm in creative mode, in creative mode, and I'm going to be using the creative mode to fire up a base building computer, and I'm going to try and make a gnarly spider. So, yeah, I, if you are building them on flat pieces of land, it does make things a heck of a lot easier, but I'm going to do one suspended in a spider's web, so really what I wanted was like a little bit of a, a crevice or something that I can build it between, so... Maybe here we'll probably do the trick in this sort of area here above all these gnarly plants The only thing is, is you see these blue crystals for some reason It doesn't let you build above the blue crystals. You have to mine them all out So I'm gonna just head back over here just a tad and build there. Oh, have I already got a base here? Oh, yes, I have okay cool excellent I don't have to put down a base computer so I can skip that step. Well, hello there people bum yeah, a spider on a web is what I'm going to be going for, people. A spider on a web. So, yeah, cool. Awesome. So, I've already got my base computer down. So, I'm just going to go into panels. And I'm just going to space out, roughly, where I want my sp spider to be. So, here we go. Let's uh, just uh, chuck these across here. Lovely jubbly. And nice and simple. That's roughly going to be where it's going to be. The centre mass of its body is going to be there. So then I just want to go into the large structures. And I'm going to just be sticking that over there. I like to build in the base camera. So I'm just going to go into that view. So yeah, let's um, stick it out there a little bit. So that's where its back end is going to be. We want it to be slightly lifted higher than that. So I'm going to just chuck another one there. And delete the bottom one. So yeah, highlight the bottom one. Boom. Gone. Righty ho, I'm going to leave these floor panels in for a bit. Sting Noir! Hello there! Well, yep. Oh, I was supposed to do this. People bum go! You, sir, were first into the chat. So awesome. You would like the freaking wind. And there we go. So there's an air grab for you. Bit more wind for you. There you go. Awesome. So yeah, Beeble Bum Go is another content creator and a base builder, and he's done some gnarly glides on glitch building. So if you want to take this a step further with your base shenanigans, go check out Beeble Bum Go's channel. He's freaking ace. And we've got Sting Noir in the chat. Hello, Sting Noir. We've got Hippie Dog One. Salute to Mondo, Hippie Dog One. We've got Moose in the house. Okay, Moose is new to the channel. So hello there, Moose. Uh, yeah, so he's now just become a member, which is fantastic. Welcome aboard, Mr. Moose. And uh, we've got a... St oh, Stingnogar, thank you for the Nanite Farm video. This system I tweeted you now expanded to four bases. Oh, brilliant. That's that's really good news. I'm just bringing up my uh, YouTube stream on here, just in case this dies. Beeble bum. Cheers, Captain Steve. You're most welcome, Beeble. I freaking love your, your um, base build guides. Not that I've ever moved into glitching. I mean, I've watched enough of them. I, I, I do every now and again. I've u I, I used your um, your wire to uh, pill light glitch the other month, in fact, just to make one of my robots from my uh, thank you base. So, yeah, I do, I do use them occasionally, and they do come in handy. So, yeah, there we go. Now let's just mute that. Awesome. Excellent. So we go. Right. So that's going to be the body of the spider. Now, you can change the color of this. Um, so, yeah, if you go into the little wheelie thing here, you can then sort of change the color. So we could go for a black widow spider if we wanted to. Or we could make something that sort of sits the environment a little bit better, like an orange and blue spider. Because, yeah, why not? We go for one that's sort of camouflaged. OK, and then I'm just going to make it um, a neck and body sort of area. So I'm going to use one of these and that's going to go there. That's where all the legs are going to sit and stuff like that, the appendages. And at the very end over there is where its head is going to be. So what we need here is we need one of these. So that's going to be a very simple head. You can see this is already taking shape, can't you? And look, it's already adopted the same colour palette that I selected before, which is lovely jubbly. Now, to get the legs on though, this is a little bit tricky. So, well, I say it's tricky. It's not as tricky as glitch building. So you need to find yourself a wall and you can just wedge that against the door right there. It looks like it's changed back to the colour set. Yes, it has. I don't know why it does that, but there we go. We'll, we'll just change it back. Boom. And then we'll swing over to the other side and mirror that over here. Pow, pow. And then what we need is just a floor panel. Just for now, we will be deleting all this hideous stuff in a bit. But we need it for now. So floor panel, I probably went past it like twice or something. I, I'm still shockingly bad with navigating these menus. Um, you're going to find that with my channel, though. I, I, I'm not that good. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> so let's, let's go into decorations. Here we go. Decorations next. And what we need, this is going to be sort of like the leg joints. 
Now these, this is the tricky bit of trying to get it positioned so when you put the leg coming off of this at different angles you don't want it to hit the back end of that um, building so you want to just sort of position it just right. Now I very rarely use the rotate options but to use them you hold down L1 and L2 at the same time and you can use your D-pad to sort of rotate it to get it perfectly aligned. But me I always end up losing my shape and stuff so I, I just sort of do it by by guessing basically so I'm gonna go for about there for that one and then this one I'm probably going to mirror that again and uh, to make it organic you want it just slightly off of what the last one was a little bit so there we go we're gonna put that there okay right excellent eh? and now we need to actually put the legs on so the legs are just like this I built this side of the spider first oh it's gone back to the same color again but it doesn't matter white and orange could work I suppose but let's go for a contrasting blue and orange there we go so here we go let's uh, build his legs up so I'm gonna go free high you can make his legs longer if you want him more spindly I like my my spiders to be quite chunky so there we go let's uh there we go oh yeah and then we put this one here now you're gonna notice that I have only got six legs at the moment and if I did try to put another leg in there it's going to collide with that one it's going to look really really bizarre and odd but what I've found if you're extremely lucky if you go over to the round ball and just sort of snazz one of those against this triangle like so kapow and then you go over here we can change the color later and then you just get another one of them pipes usually you're very usually it works out quite nicely look at that it's coming out at a different angle which is which is kind of fine there we go brilliant brilliant all right so we need um, one of these triangles now the, at the moment it's blue but we go in and we will uh, change that around now i have to use sort of like telepathy or te telekinesis to get these things to rotate the right way so there we go i'm going to stick one there and yeah it's it's this bit i hate i wish you could just hit the r1 or r2 button but it just rotates it on that axis and even pressing it just goes the other way it'd be nice if it rotated it on the um the horizontal school and vertical if you used l1 or r1 it changed slightly but it doesn't it just spins it on a point it is cack um there we oh i had it for a second there we go done this one oh i had it for a second again you little git go on go on you know you want to there you go i have to use willpower to get it to work and i'd imagine you guys if when you're trying this you're going to be screaming at the screen trust me right okay so let me just catch up with some of this chat now i've got that bit done so we've got my ammo 10 in the house well hello there beeble bump by the way did you see my new thumbnail steve it's been changing them a bit oh okay i loved your thumbnails as they were i really did ah uh, uh, hi there captain steven chat well hello my ammo done oh my god delta terra sacked hello there from texas uh, time here is tw oh okay well you're quite in over here it is now 621 in the p.m scottish rod well hello there scottish rod scottish rod does some fantastic builds i'd say his builds are kind of like what's in between what i'm doing now and what Beeble does he does a little bit of glitching but most of his stuff is unglitched but then he's like a uh, switch master he's freaking awesome you see i made his leg a little bit longer there i'm thinking about the web and so yeah let's uh bring this one in pow pow now the way i'm going to make the web for this spider is probably going to be a bit there's probably better ways of doing it i'm, I'm not going to lie uh, probably Beeble or, or somebody else will probably know a better way of doing it but there we go we've got another leg there and then we're going to put this one down here chicka pow chicka pow chicka pow chicka pow pow right so what i've done over here i'm going to have to do over at the other side in a minute that leg looks a bit wonky from the ball but it doesn't really matter spiders are wonky right <laughs> yeah national geographic said so oh uh, yeah i'm doing live my little princess how are you ivy i found my phone you found it it's taken you all this time yeah i was angry earlier with the birds remember when yeah. i'm angry I'm, I'm not in my head okay well it's good that you found it she actually lost her phone yesterday people um she got out of the car for work and dropped it on the road on the road where cars go yeah She's lucky it wasn't crushed somebody picked it up and i phoned it a couple of hours later and they actually picked up the phone and um, they returned it to us later on that evening they actually worked a night shift so we had to wait for a good few hours before we could get it back but there was a decent chap that actually you know returned it to us so that's a, it's nice it's nice to see that there's decent people out there in the world 
He's a very good man. He seems like very cheerful. Yeah, he was a lovely guy, wasn't he? You offered the reward, you did, he didn't it accept. Is. Turned it down. Wouldn't take it. So, yep. Yeah. And that got us fish and chips. Well, it got us a KFC. No, it didn't. I didn't pay for it, did I? Oh, cool. Right, okay, so let's have... Now let's see if this one is too close to that. Sometimes... Oh, uh, yeah, let's just clear the back end of the spider. That's good. Right, here we go. Let's put those in. I need to get some sort of tracking device for her phone because she loses it on a regular basis. I did get her one of those smartwatches, and on a smartwatch you can press the screen say, locate my phone, and it um, rings your phone even if your phone's on silent. Ivy always has her phone on silent, so when she loses it, she, it's proper lost for a couple of minutes. You know, and you know the feeling when you put your phone down, you can't find it, you're like completely lost for a while. Where'd I put it? She gets that like at least once a day. Right, uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, I need to find some way of tracking her freaking phone for her in a, in a non, sort of, spying type way. Okay, so let's bring this leg down here. Now, this one might collide with the other one. We might have to delete the legs, but we'll see. We might be lucky. Pow. Put that up here. Rotate around. There we go. Come on. You know you want to. Damn you! Don't, ah! You get. Come on. Bloody pyramid triangle thing. Yeah, there's not many offensive words that you can call a triangle. I suppose I could call it a square. Oh, you'd square! Yeah, it, it doesn't seem bothered. It really doesn't. There we go. We'll put that there. And we'll put this one up here. Pow! No, it, it, it moved. At the last freaking second, it freshly moved. No! Up there. Be that way, but up there. Ah, man, I've got to work on my telekinesis. It's, 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 it's not a strength at the moment. Right, before I move on, let's, let's catch up with the chat, because I've got a little bit, um, sidetracked there with old, uh, my missus coming in. Yep, spider and web, nice one. And we also have in here a call, we got, my ammo just dropped me three US dollars, my ammo, salute Mondo. Well, thanking you very much. I love your little super stickers. You gave me a unicorn last time, this time we've got a little cheerleading... I don't know what that thing is, but yeah, it's got pom-poms. So thank you very much for your pom-pom crazy little little fauna there. Very nice. And uh, Thunder just 07 g so well done. Nice one. Oh, Lynx. Welcome aboard, Lynx. So Lynx is working on a um, procedural generation game for PC that looks quite nice. It's called Matter Flow. Matter Flow. So yeah, if you want to try and find that, it's very easy. Just type in Matter Flow into YouTube. You will find his channel and a few fair few videos on Matter Flow and how far into build it is at current stage. And I... I must say, it's very impressive, considering it's just him that's pretty much doing this alone. So, yeah, um, check it out if you've got a PC. Right, so here we go. Or even if you haven't got a PC, if you're interested in procedural generation and sci-fi, I mean, you're watching No Man's Sky, you probably are. You're probably going to have a, an interest in it. So, yeah, take a look-see. You'll be glad you did. Right, so here we go. We're going to put that there. Right. Leggity leg leg. Oh, come on. Frickin' spin. Spin. Damn you. That's... Right, I'm going to do the next one. I'm getting fed up with that one. Come on. Spin around. Uh, come on. Ah, it, it was there. It was freaking there. Do it. There we are. It seems to be... The way that I always want to put the shape is the least amount of time that it spends on there. It's like a millisecond. There we go. I just have to turn it a little bit slower. Okay, go on. No! Damn you! Go on. You know you want to. Stop it. You... Get... You get and get. Okay, well, sometimes I put them around that way, stick one on the opposite side, delete that one, and then put another one in. And sometimes that helps. Sometimes it does fudge all, apart from makes it more difficult. Right, okay. Ask to that idea, then. I now can't delete the one that's in the rock. Damn it! I'm going to have to go around there with my terrain manipulator. It's always the last freaking leg that causes me a problem. Right, okay. Now I can delete all the stuff I don't need. So let's get rid of these. Delete D, delete dump. Dum dum di dip da dum dum da 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 dum. Oh, okay. I deleted the panel I was on and it uh, threw me out of camera mode. So let's uh, go dig out that leg over there. But I, I did want to keep the terrain intact, which is a bit annoying now. But uh, there we go. We can we can always restore it, I suppose. Go on. There we are. Now it doesn't have a problem. Freaking what the fudge? Okay, restore. Where's restore? Flatten restore. Now back to normal. There we go. Done. You would never know the difference. Right, hey. Let's uh, head run round here. Let's go back into build mode. 
back into the actual build camera and then I need myself a door diddly dee and we're gonna build it into his backside yep I like um, back doors there we are done and then I'm gonna put a little ramp coming off of his backside there we go lovely jubbly he's nearly complete now what I do like to do on my uh, spiders is to give them a little bit of height so I'm gonna put one of those on there yeah we go for orange lovely jubbly go down into here we should be able to chuck a ladder in there sweet kapow and then for its eye for its eye I really like it to light up quite well so I'm just gonna go into here and I'm gonna grab one of these now you can put these fairly close into the actual head area of this and as long as you're facing it out this way so when you teleport you're not gonna get stuck up against the glass like like that then it's good you can sort of come this way you can come out that way which is perfectly fine and when I show you this from the front now this is this 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 look I like this this is cool so it's like a Cyclops spider look at that isn't that freaking ace it looks freaking menacing doesn't it that's great isn't it right so let's go back into the build mode and now I want to delete oh let's go into there I want to delete this floor panel and I oh whoops I've still got my terrain manipulator on I hate having that um that symbol as I'm flying around doing all of this and I'm just going to delete the bits I don't need so I don't need that just be very careful what you delete here chums because you what the fudge why is it put it I didn't ask for a freaking door to be there that's that's just that's just messed up that never happens that should not happen chums there should not be a hole in the freaking wall okay so yeah that's that's a strange one so I don't know what happened there but uh, you find this, you get odd things. It'll probably repair itself when it feels like it, like after I've teleported a couple of times and things. Right, okay, next up, next up, I want to put in the spider's web. So I should have left those floor panels in so I could have made it level, but then spider webs aren't really that level anyway. And what I tend to do is just put down some of these um, industrial units. So if I go into industrial, bum, 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 bum. Actually, I don't think I would need to put down the industrial units. I think I can just get away with putting down the pipes because we've got earth either side. So, yeah, let's give it a go. So let's go into industrial and we just need the pipe. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it's going to let me do it. So I'm going to go to one of its legs where the tip is touching the ground pretty much. So there we go. Let's go from there. Awesome. And I can stretch that all the way over here. Like so nice and you've just got to kind of build a web up now so it's like over there let's try and bring that up a bit so it touches that that leg so we go over like so kapow and you can get as messy as you like I mean you, you could actually do this properly with like a hexagon type shape and mark it all out properly if you really could be asked um, but you know that you're watching Captain Steve's channel right now so I'm gonna just go around like this I'll show you what I mean anyway you can you can sort of draw out a perimeter line if you like like so big spiders web and then just sort of just crisscross around all over the place yeah I mean if you actually look at spider webs pictures they have got a level of um, patination to them which I just can't be asked to replicate but if you did want to replicate it you'd go round like um, as an inside line of like along here or something and you'd just emulate what you did on the inside and you'd sort of just wrote yeah and keep going in line after line after line and you could draw in sort of like boundary boxes for this sort of stuff and actually really proper measure it out but yeah I'm just gonna do this really quick I mean some of this isn't even to the same height or standard so you can use you know like the um, the harvesters you could put a load of them down and then you can get them all at the same height because at the moment this is not all at the same level this is going downwards it, it, it's not gonna look right at all but to get the height back up I can just go back up to here and then draw lines across there I mean it's just for aesthetics it's going to look fine in a camera mode or whatever from above or from a side angle but it's probably not going to look great from ground level but I, I don't really care this is just a quick tutorial on a rough idea you can you can home this you can make this yours and you can take the time needed to construct an awesome web but for now that's me done okay so cool out of build mode lovely jubbly 
And that's kind of... Oh, yeah, look. They've gone over the top of its freaking head, which I did not want. Um, okay. So I get rid of that one. I get rid of that one. And that one. I don't know how that happened. That's... Technically, that should not have... Oh, it's... Somehow, it's latched onto the top of the freaking... Uh, that should not have happened. It shouldn't have let me do that. That's, um... That's bizarre. Okay, well, let's uh, go up here. Let's see if we can get rid of that last couple of... That is weird. Okay. Now, I don't know how that happened, but we get rid of that one, and we get rid of that one as well. And there's one going straight for its freaking body there. What the fudge? Okay, well, let's get rid of that one too. There we are. Okay, well, there we are. So that's that's kind of that. And let's just go into camera mode. Kapow! Put the sun in the sky. And there we got ourselves a spider. And I could do with tidying up his leg colours. But you kind of got the idea. That's kind of how to make a very quick looking spider. Um, but I need to change those triangles down there. Roughhouse Gaming! Well, hello there, Roughhouse Gaming. Yeah, patination. Yeah, that's a, that's a new hashtag. Freaking awesome. Making up words as we go here, chums. Daniel King! Oh, well, hello there, Daniel King. I hope the isolation lasts longer so we don't have to go back to work and play less uh, of it now that we've got time to bring in so many more players. We'll enjoy the time. Every cloud has a single lining, but I, I, I really want this to be over. I, I, I can't stand being in the house all the time. I really can't. But yeah... I can feel Zane cringing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you, you, you can do, you can make the web look a lot nicer. To be honest, I usually build my spiders on flat ground, and I don't even bother with all the webs, mainly because it takes too much freaking time. But yeah, I have built better ones than this. And uh, yeah, but there we are. That'd do. That'd freaking do. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. So that's kind of a spider. Let's, uh, let's just um, sort out the colour of the legs, though. That's uh, you can you can you kind of got the general gist of what I'm doing though, haven't you? So here we go. Let's go into here. Color of these. Now sometimes you got to be very careful when you're recoloring stuff because sometimes it changes to delete, and you end up deleting something you really didn't want to delete. I preferred the old coloring mode. The old coloring mode was a lot frickin' safer. Yeah, you get punished for going out the lines in this version. Right, you sort of have to, if you move off of it and go somewhere else, you have to reset your colour palette. So you have to stay on the actual model or else it, it resets the colour. It's a pain in the freaking jubblies. That's what it is. Right, so let's go over here. Chikapow. Chikapoom. Now, you can add all sorts of detail into your spiders. If you go into sort of like, um, you know, the decoration mode, you could stick cabinets and vents and, and all sorts of stuff to your spider to make it look even more sort of robotic. Um, you can make the web a million times better than what... Oh, fudge. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah you, can, um, you can make the web look a million times better than what I've done right there. But yeah, you get the idea, though. It, it's not too difficult. The last one I done, the uh, the spider is a watcher. I could take it to that base actually. It's in my normal mode, so I built one of these in normal mode. It doesn't need that many resources. It really doesn't. And because I'm in creative, I'm not going to put no plants in the top or anything because it's creative mode. People don't really need them. I don't know why that door, that sort of window, is staying there. Look, that, I mean that. Look at that. That is so weird, isn't it? I can actually go through it as well. It's actually a hole. That is. I've never seen that happen before. That's never happened. That's a first. That's a first. Okay, so there we go. I've done my little spider Rooney there. But uh, let's um, let's go and save that. Where did I put the poxy base computer? All right, it's over there. Let's just go save there. WD. So yeah, this is where I was making my ideas video for um, fauna pens and stuff. So let's go and upload that. Awesome. Oh, you got yourself some. You may just. You, this is this is a harvest from our garden, is it? Yes. Right, so she's just harvested a load of strawberries there. They came straight out of our garden. From our garden. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know she was going to turn up, chums. I really didn't. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, they smell nice. Yes. They smell like strawberries. You can smell it. You mm. don't eat them. Very fr no, I don't like them. Go on, then, just one. It's no, just no, really fresh. no. I, I honestly don't like any fruit honestly. or veg. I don't know what their class does, strawberries. But there we go. Upload. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to quit out now to normal mode.
and um, I'll show you my better spider in normal mode. One that I actually took time on. But yeah, that, that's not too bad. Let's, let's go into normal mode though anyway. Yeah, so there we go. Done. I love strawberries. Well, if you like gardening, you like strawberries. My missus has got a a, a channel called Manila London. I'm trying to help her get it more established, but it's it's difficult. She's a very picky person. <laughs> All right, okay. Normal. Enough said. Right, here we go. Let's go in. They're berries. Yeah, that, that's a good point. They are berries. But yeah, yeah. I, the, the hint is in the name, isn't it? <laughs> Oh my days! I don't know these things, people. I don't know. I don't eat them. I've got no interest. No interest at all. We're complete opposites, me and Ivy, which I think keeps us together. To be fair, Jilly Dad is in the house. I'm glad to see you here. Techno's here as well. Techno's got an awesome channel, and Techno is a funny guy. He his videos never fail to make me smile. Check out um Mr. Techno. He's awesome. Oh, there's somebody already here. What the fudge? Oh, this is not my abandoned station. This is a different one. Hello. How are you? Mercury, how did you get out of the Nexus? Frickin' heck. Okay, right, awesome. So let's uh, head on over here. Uh, Richard Wonder. Hello there, Rich. The anonymous user. Hello. Hello there, Rich. Right, here we go. Matthew Hanzo, sugar and cream. I don't even, not even with sugar and cream. Maybe if I blended it and put it into a smoothie, maybe. Oh, there's portal interference. Yeah, this is, this is the uh, pulse fishing area for uh, getting quicksilver, super quick. It appears in six seconds. So if I fly out of here, I'll show you what I mean. Mercury, what are you still doing standing there with no ship? How the fudge is that a thing? That should not be a thing. You should not be there, my little friend. Okay, that's just blown my mind. How the heck did he manage that? Okay, so let's head on out. And, um, yeah, we'll head towards the uh, station. So there's the... Oh, well, the, 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 the portal. But as I'm going there, hopefully it won't take... Oh, if it takes... Uh, yeah, it's not going to pop up because it's longer than six seconds. But there we go. This is the system, anyway, for getting um, the hot ice. My ammo template. Well, hello there, Galarak. Hello, Galarak. Welcome aboard. So if I head down here... Oh, wow. I asked for a few constables to be put down. There's freaking loads. Thanks from Jilly Dad. <laughs> Jilly Dad, you're in the chat and your constables right there. I just saw your constable. Righty ho. Let's uh, head on over here. Ah, uh, my ammo. Thank you for dropping a link to um, for to Techno's channel there. Thanking you, Bill. Bill. Well, now I need strawberries and ice cream. Heck yes. There's my one there. We have got thanks from Bondi. You got thanks, Captain Steve. Pulse, best pulse fishing around. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, man. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Who the heck's been taking a terrain manipulator to this place? That's a bit dodgy. They're trying to sink the frickin' portal. Griefers. Griefers! That's one of my worries with the crossplay, is what happens with all the PC people that can sort of um, alter their save file? Just put a shed load of status devices in, go into the Nexus, and just hand them out like candy to everyone. I mean, uh, it's fine if you've managed to craft them all yourself, I guess, and people want them. But it could just flood the market with just people cutting massive corners. Oh, sorry there. Having a long ate my dinner and I ate it fast so I could get on stream in time. But here we go. Oh, I just dropped my mouse. Here's my mouse. It's a lovely mouse. It's a nice shiny mouse. All right, so here we go. Let's have a look-see. Righty-ho. Yeah, we've got thunder. I love strawberries. Yeah. I have a base there. You don't need the portal. Yeah, I'd need to actually join your iteration first, though, I think. I always fail at posting links. <laughs> cool. Right, you're a mod. You can do it. You can do it. Right, so now I'm back here. That's lovely jubbly. But now I need to use a normal portal, so I'll use my little base over here. Okay, so this is my, uh, my little attempt at building a base that looks like a portal that isn't a portal so i'm going to jump over here and we we'll go to my abandoned system that has a proper spider in it so here we go let's go did you buy the um atlas figurine yet no i've just got into my normal mode i'd do that at the end of the stream daniel hipley because it has just unlocked which is awesome right so let's go to bases and i want to go to nanite farm no i don't i want to go to the odd one that i've made abandoned watcher that's my spider 
Yeah, so if you haven't checked out Daniel Hippie, Daniel Hippie's got a channel as well. He's made, an, he's made some awesome farm bases. So if you're ever needing something, I'd highly recommend one of Daniel Hippie's farms. Just jump over to his channel, get the coordinates, jump over, rob him blind. You're going to be happy that you did. Yeah, so there we go. Mark Dickerson, I want to visit your hub and possibly expand your hub. Is there a naming system? I would just like it if you just drop NMSA in front of the actual system or planetary names, which is either or, or both, even. Yeah, just NMSA, that stands for No Man's Sky Adventures, and we're over in the 905. And you can pretty much join whenever I'm live. In fact, I did turn... Um, oh, it's not on at the moment, I need to turn it on. But yet, yeah, when, when I come through this upset end of the portal, I turn it on because then I'm back in the NMSA hub. So if you do want to jump in, just add me on um, PlayStation Network and I'll, you'll be able to jump straight over. Okay, so here we go. I'll turn on my multiplayer right now. So here we go. Let's uh, do that as a first thing. Skip that. And uh, we will go into Network. And i turn that back to Friends Only. I'll disable that bit. There we go. There you are. You should be able to jump on over now. And if you haven't already added me, that's my name on PlayStation, NMSA-CAP-STEVE. So there we go. You can add me that way. I've got my phone here, so it should pop up on my phone screen if you send me an invite now. I can always accept it now. If you're in, you should be able to get on. So there we go. Oh, okay, cool. MZK's just put out a video. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Called Super Formula. I'm going to have to go check that out. I love MZK's stuff. I like his speculation. It's great fun. So, yeah, that's cool. Awesome, awesome. Right, so, now, now I am at my spider base. As you can see there, it's got a pretty much the same layout as my other spider base. I've just added a few bits and bobs here. Oh, there we go. Someone's already joined. That's awesome. And I've got some plants up there. But let's uh, go out of its rectum. Here we go. And uh, let's just jump into camera mode. So the way that I'd done this one was to actually put down these sort of struts underneath it. And I drew a hexagon first and I went around. So that one's actually got a slightly be better looking web. But it's still not the best of webs. You, you, if you take some time, you can do a lot freaking better than that. But that little base is looking at one of these abandoned sort of wheel things down here. These, failure bo these boundary failures. Mainly because I'm hoping that in an update, maybe not the next one or the next one or whatever, they might become active and we might actually get a threat that's worth visiting or we might be able to go visit other systems through them or something I don't know but at the moment they're a little bit dormant but they're beautifully animated so they've put a lot of work into them so I'd like to see them get a function you know remember when the old portal sprung into life you know yeah hopefully they're going to spring into life and do something awesome and then I've got a base right by one imagine if something does emerge through there and the first thing they see is that looking at them they're going to sh brown trouser moment brown yeah it doesn't matter how hard an alien you are you're not going to like the look of the giant dangly spider coming at you unless you are another giant dangly spider and if they bring giant dangly spiders into the game yeah no no thank you Right, okay, so <laughs> I think they're great. Yeah, it, it looks quite good with the planet, doesn't it? This one does look quite good. I try to match the colour palette to what I'm seeing on the planet to make them look like they're camouflaged. And I hope in another update they choose, choose to do that with the actual fauna on planets. That'd be freaking ace. Oh, there's a ship flying through this system. Oh, that must be another player, because this is an abandoned system. Uh, that must be the other guy that's just joined us. He's flying straight towards my camera. Oh, my days. How is he managing this? Okay, cool. There he goes. Meow. He's, he's, he's circling my base. Oh, this is epic. This is cool in this sort of cinematic mode, isn't it? Just following him around. That is so cool. Excellent. Okay, that was that was nice. Oh, we got we got mud, I, uh, mood or something. Okay, cool. I've got so many people on my freaking friends list now, chums. I I have no idea who half these people are. It's crazy. But yeah, welcome aboard, mood. Awesome. Righty ho, so that's that's my better spider in normal mode. But at least now you know how to make them in creative mode. So if you want to make a spider, you've, you've got all the tools and knowledge on how to do that now. So yeah, well done you guys. So now I'm going to go up to the uh, Nexus and we are going to go see how much Quicksilver that not in head toy is going to cost. And we're going to put it inside my ship. So let's call it my ship. Awesome. Come on, Anvil of Dust and I... And you know what? I'm going to dismantle 
my Polo and Nada figurines, and I'm just going to have myself um, the um, the Atlas one for a while. I've had those two in there for a little while, so yeah, it's time for a change. Let's go. We have lift off. Oh, hello there, Bobby Maggie. Hello there, Bobby. Welcome aboard. He's also known as Bob Cat or Bobby Cat in the um, in the. Uh, I guess the gaming community that's his tag anyhow but let's uh, let's call in um so you may have seen his base builds on my channel he's made some lovely little bases as bobby yeah each time he makes a new base you can see an improvement there that's what i always say to people is try not to compare your bases to other people's bases compare your bases to your bases if you can see a progression in what you're building you're doing good I mean, I would never compare mine to Beeble's because he'd blow me out of the frickin' water. But when I go and visit his, I usually compare his to what he'd done previously or other works of his. That's how I usually judge things. And yeah, awesome. Awesome base builder is Beeble. Right, so let's head on over to the actual merchant over here. And we will see if um, the nodding head toy is unlocked. I'm hoping you guys are liking this episode. Because normally I would just run Quicksilver mission after Quicksilver mission after Quicksilver mission. I'd imagine you're getting a bit bored. Of you can run your own Quicksilver missions. I thought I'd try and bring you something new. And show you how I make some of my favourite bases. So next week, next Tuesday, I'm probably going to show you guys out there, if you're interested, how to make an R2-D2 base. Yeah? Why not? Hopefully you're going to like that. But yeah, let's um, head on over here and let's uh, go and talk to this guy. Yeah, because... Uh, I, 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 yeah, I love making R2-D2 spiders, scorpions, that sort of thing. Right, so let's go into here. Let's go into Quicksilver. Awesome. It's 3,200 Quicksilver. Don't mind if I do. Thanking you. We'll be having one of those. Lovely jubbly. Now, I was hoping that when this actually unlocked, I was hoping we was going to get another cryptic tweet from the Mr. of the Shawns. But we haven't had one that I've seen pop up at all. Oh, we've got a PlayStation invite come up, so let's have a look who, who's wishing to join. Let's see if we can accept that and get them on right now. Oh, that's odd. We've got um, Mood. Mood's just, his invite's just popped up. Oh, no, it isn't. It's somebody that looked like Mood. It's just marked. Marked. There we go. Added. There you go, Mr. Marked. <laughs> yep, there was the digits and other stuff over there, so I haven't given nothing away. There you go, I've just added him. It's a lovely jubbly. You can now join us. Right, so we've got that nodding head. Let's go stick it in the ship. I don't have to go back over to my ship to do it. I can just do it from here if I wanted to, but there we go. So let's go into here. No, no not that one. Craft menu. And yeah, install technology. That's what I want to do. And we're going to install this one. So watch the stats over at the right hand side of the screen like a freaking eagle. Which one of them is going to change? Ah, oh, it takes you off the freaking screen, doesn't it? So it's really difficult to know which stat it's changed. And oh, I didn't pay enough attention. Ass. Okay, well, fine. It done something. It's going gonna, it's gonna to increase the stats slightly. All your videos are epic. Well, Mr. Moose, thanking you, Mr. Moose. And I have seen, Moose, that you've got yourself some videos on your channel now. You've started uploading a couple in VR. And uh, you've gone and visited Scottish Rod's base as well, which is great. So, yeah, Scottish Rod, hello there, Scottish Rod, and me and you. Scottish Rod has also got a channel as well, and he's starting putting up content too. There's a lot of content creators coming out of the woodwork. This is great, isn't it? It's awesome. Okay, oh, 50 on hyperdrive. Thank you, Jilly Dad. I just didn't spot that. My eyes are shite. Awesome. Well, thank you for there for the confirmation. So, really, you want to stick that in your ship that you use for traveling a lot i mean the hyperdrive in a, in a fighter is never massively great even though my yellow bar is through the freaking roof on this one but um it's still nowhere near as good as an explorer explorers you're looking at something like two four two six or something but there we go uh right so let's um let's fly on out let's see it wobble what warp calibration required exit and join specific traveler um well i'm in my current system Thank you. There we go. Let's head on out. Sweet. Darren Lovell. Well, hello there, Darren Lovell. Welcome aboard. Right, so yeah, we're still in my um, my system. We're still in the NMSA. Oh, look, it does wobble. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at it. Look at that. It goes left and right and up and down and all sorts. It bounces all over the place. That's pretty cool. That's going to look awesome. I quite like that. I'm keeping that one. Lovely jubbly. Oh, look, Mood has stuck down a base. Let's go and see what he's up to. Let's go pay him a visit. Let's go see if he's a Gek, a Viking, or a Corvax. I'm going to go for Gek. 
I'm going for Gek. I mean, he's probably not going to be Gek. He probably is probably an anomaly, isn't he? We're, we're, we'll fly down. We'll have a look. There we go. Okay, people, down level. You mean the glitches? The glitches? Well, what the heck have I missed? Steve, I'm new to No Man's Sky. How do I get the more exotic items to place in my base? Seeing things in other people's bases I don't have available. I'm using the PS4 creative mode fax. Well, Darren, I think you're going to have to go to planets that are sort of the redacted sort of planets. So I'll show you one in a second. Um, that's like where I just was, where my spider is. There's one there. Um, let's just go and have a quick look. See, let's see what we've got down here. And then I go show you one of the exotic planets. They're called exotic trophies, and you need to look for yellow sort of question marks. Okay, so he's, there's a little outpost here that he's already building near to. Oh my days! Has he put all that down already? He's only just freaking flown in. You're putting me to shame, my friend. <laughs> this is mental. How the fudge has he built all this in like three seconds? There's teleporters and all sorts of stuff here. This is mental. Fudging mental. Okay, well that's, um, we'll leave him to it. We'll have to go do a base tour of that at some stage. That is pretty damn impressive. Right, so let's uh, fly on over to my redacted sort of planet. So let me scan this planet. I'll show you what I mean. So you see this planet here, it says scaly planet, and it's just got emerald, gold, and silver. As long as it doesn't say airless, and it's got something like that about it, you usually find these are in red or green or the blue systems, not in the normal systems. So you may need to install some of the extra warp drives. So in here I've got the extra warp drives. So you're probably going to need like the idiom drive or one of the other drives, cadmium or, or emerald, will probably get you to a system that's going to have these planets. They're more common in the idiom systems though, the bright blue systems. So if you fly over to here, um, you're going to come across this. Now what I would say, if you if you search for Kirby space underscore and the number five, so Kirby space underscore the number five and find his channel he's actually done a load of videos recently on all of these exotic planets and what you're looking for when it comes to those those things that you want to put in bases what i would say is try and aim to go to the the um the brighter side of the planet because well actually hunting for these things in night or day it doesn't really make much of a difference to be fair when it comes to the trophies some of them give off a small glow but i know that the ones on this planet freaking don't these are the hardest ones to bloody find um at, in my own opinion out of all the different trophies and all the different trophy planets so this is an exotic biome there's about 13 different exotic biomes where you can get these trophies and yeah you've got light fissures you've got rattling bones you've got you've got all sorts there's a few of them this one's one of my personal favorites but it's also one of the hardest ones to poxy well find okay so what you're looking for is like a yellow triangle with a question mark inside of it and sometimes they don't pop up until you're looking directly at the dang thing so it's not fun trying to find them and on these planets you can you can find that one of these little trophy ones are inside of one of the bigger ones there you go my ammo's just put up a link to kirby's channel and he's covered off pretty much all these exotic biomes and how to look for and find the trophies on them and he's in agreement that this one is a pain in the neck to actually find one so it's going to take me a while to find one on here but we'll see if we can find one of these trophy things that you're on about i have got some inside of my freighter on the actual freighter deck so i could just show you on there but really i just wanted to show you the icon of what you're looking for on these planets but like i said they're a pain in the neck to find on this sort of biome type but it's just a, it's like a yellow diamond shape with a question mark in it that i'm looking for in scanner mode when you've got the analysis visor when you're holding like l2 you're looking there okay so let's uh, keep going come on and you see all these ones have got yellow stems the trophy one has actually got a red stem and it's quite small it's about the size of one of those ones that i just flew over it's like the size of like that in a way but it's got a red stem and not a yellow stem oh look there's there's some of the life forms on this planet on these planets you already get the one life form and um, another little tip is if you've got to do your discoveries uh, uh like thing you can just upload that one and then upload it from here and that counts as all discoveries found on one planet which is quite handy right come on give us one of those little triangles still no triangle 
damn it okay well we're carrying on going this way yeah I could just call it my freighter and show you on my freighter but I did want to show you the, the icon I know it's only a small thing but again it you can be looking on these planets for a long time to find the trophies so just be aware of that I mean even a veteran player such as I I don't just come across those things straight away they are a pain in the freaking neck to find trophies on these trophy planets this one like I say is the hardest of the hard come on no still not picking them up there it is look there's one that's that's what you're looking for let's lock that in let's leg it down here there it is just there there you go that's it and then you have to pick it up with R3 and then you can put that in your base you can go and put that in your base then so there it is uh, somewhere in is probably my cargo isn't it cargo there it is there there we are and you can put that in your base well you can sell it for a thousand units not that uh, you want to be doing that right okay awesome uh, I, I call in my freighter I'll show you some of the ones that are available as well ba -ba -ba, chika -pow -pow. always happy to help a new player I've got playlists on my channel at the moment I've put them right to the top of my channel page with loads of helpful tips and hints and things like that for any new players so yeah feel free to share my channel with any new players that you know because I'm, I'm hopefully it's going to help them cool so sweet yeah if you're buying somebody no man's sky as a, a birthday present in their card just write down my channel address <laughs> right okay no i'm being serious <laughs> right there we go let's head through here let's go inside let's go inside awesome the scottish rod if you're drinking tea pinky's free oh the mash smash with freaking 10 us dollars Dimash, you're mental. Ahoy, lurking and working. Well, thank you, Dimash Smash. I'm just smashed off the side of my freaking freighter now. That's just bizarre. Usually, they, you get guided in at that stage. Where the fudge am I now? Okay, um, am I upside... Where the fudge is the door? There it is. Okay, cool. There we are. Let's um, try that again. Go in. Damn you. It's in. Awesome. There you go. Like a glove. <laughs> Thank, thanking you, Mr. Damash Smash. Hammer is in the house. Nice one. Well, thanking you. 07, buddy. 07. Cheers. Vanilla, hope you're well. I love how everybody says hello to everyone. It's, a, it's such a nice, welcoming community, isn't it? It really is. And, um, yep, there's a, lots of channel links there. So if you are new to No Man's Sky and you're looking for content, please, please go back through this live chat, hit in all those links after it ends, and go pay each and every single one of those uh, channels a visit. You'll be glad you did. They're awesome content creators in this awesome community. And welcome aboard to No Man's Sky. Okay, so let's head on up here. And I'll show you some of the other trophies that I have on display up here. Ba -ba -ba. I could always put that other one up here, couldn't I? Give it a little home. So here we are. Yeah, so yeah, uh, not a lot of people realise that you can do this, but if you stand about here and go into build camera, you can place whatever you want on the bridge of your actual freighter. So that little glitchy thing that I just found, where's glitches in here? Glitches, there we go, there we go, and that's how you place it. It's under the decorations area, it's very easy to miss. So yeah, you can just plonk that somewhere like there if you wanted, you know. So yeah, let's put it amongst these crates, there we go. Chikapow! And you can change the colour of them as well. Um, so they're going to there. I make that one yellow. There we go. Done. Sweet. So yeah, you can put whatever you want on your bridge. Like I've put around all of my um, little consoles, so all my little dudes appear here. So it feels like something out of Star Trek Enterprise. But you got like um, you got all sorts of things here. That's a glitch. That's a glitch. Yeah, you got um, these things over here. So there's loads of planets with these things all over them, and you just have to hunt for those little. Uh, question mark doohickeys and then jobs are good so there we go so if I run around here I can call in my little NPCs and you see what I mean it actually looks whoops that's, that's a freaking blueprint analyzer yeah I've got everything in there I don't need that so let's go and interact with the right thing this time there you go that's a, I think that's for Sipu oh no it's Tai Leaf his twin brother is for Sipu got this little chap over here Gar hello there Gar how are you Lieutenant Warrior Gar I'm sure he was Lieutenant when you first started but there we are this guy, I can't pronounce his name, I just call him Sid. Because um, he's got a massive name, so I just call him call him Sid or Stan, whichever takes my fancy. Right, so we head over this way, and we've got this little chap over here. This one is for Sipu. There we go. 
Uh, the twins, he's my favourite. Okay, there we are. Uh, okay, cool. So we've got all our little guys standing around here. You can't put your exocraft technician on the bridge, though. You can only put them on planets, not on your actual um, freighter. But I'm hoping if they do let us do, like, away missions at any stage or something like that, then maybe they might let you choose an exocraft to instantly put on the planet. That, that could work. Now that we've got the technology that interfaces with exocraft, you would have thought you could put your exocraft technician here, set your default one, and then when you actually touch down to a planet or something, maybe it auto-spawns your favourite exocraft. As more of a sort of thing to say, yeah, there it is, go use it, you know. I, I might use them a little bit more often then. I know it's a few button presses, but people are lazy. Right, so there we go. Uh, yes, you need your um, channel there as well. Bigger card, um, I think. Okay, right. Let's have a quick look see. Oh, nice one. Thunder, Moose, Techno, Jilly Dad, everyone else. Well, hello there, Vanilla. Welcome aboard. The ones you can pick up are, are more orange. Okay. The hardest thing to find. They they can be, yes. They only show up in 200 U's of your analyzer vote. Right, I didn't know that, Beeble. With that, 200 U's, you may as well be standing on the frickin' thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, though some yellow star systems have them. Do they? Yes, yes, but they're very rare. Yes. Okay, down level. You find exotic biomes such as metallic plants, etc. They contain the glitch trophies. You generally find them in red, green, and blue systems. Yes, totally agree. Totally, totally. Matthew Hanzo. Keep up the good work, Captain. Off for din dins. I've just had mine, Matthew. Well, enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, well, I think I'm pretty much caught up with the chat now. You never told me. Okay, cool. Sweet. That's, that's pretty much that then. Oh! My Ammo 10 has got herself a lovely channel as well, and I also do um, Red Dead Redemption with Dimash Smash and My Ammo 10, and also Madfish Magpie every Sunday. So if you're up for Red Dead, be sure to join us on a Sunday, 8pm GMT time. Don't know what that is in other parts of the world, but yeah, they're always fun. Um, look up, um, just hit up Madfish or... Um, um, my ammo 10 and also Dimash's channel head on over there subscribe and then you can watch us from different angles it's great fun but they also do no man's sky content as well and Dimash he does it in vr so th there's so many channels to shout out there's so many good ones in fact just head over to my channel page and there's loads of different subscribe buttons to the content creators i like to watch and keep an eye on so you guys out there thank you very much for tuning in i'm going to end off right now chums and next week on tuesday i'm going to be building an r2d2 base so if you want to see an R2-D2 build, made simple, um, pop on over and I'll build one in creative mode and then hopefully you guys can emulate it in normal or whichever mode you want. Anyway, until then, you guys have been freaking ace and golden for tuning in, thanking you, double thumbs up from the captain, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye all, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's see if my share button works. Let's go for it. Yes, it did. Awesome. So I'm ending off now, people. And on this end screen, I will be putting links to more content by me. And hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. Take care for now. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.